Guaguan Massive, I'm F Ziva. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my moisturizing routine. My hair has not been moisturized for about 7 days now. Um, since I did my molasses hair treatment, it was just awesome. The softness and so on but now my hair kind of dry out so i'm going to be sharing with you what i use to moisturize my hair now i know many persons are more associated with the loc method or the lock method but i find that when i use the lock method which is liquid oil and cream the cream part of it it kind of dry out my hair i had to formulate my own moisturizer that works with my hair and especially with my situation which is I'm recovering from androgenic alopecia right so the ingredients are basically natural there is no artificial product just upfront natural ingredients things I'm just going to my backyard I'm just pick up and that's what I'll be using and that's what I've been using for a while now to moisturize my hair now one of the key things to retaining length is to ensure that your hair is moisturized so if you're a natural you just need to look into your moisturizing routine and remember that what works for one may not work for all so look at ways that you can diversify that you can try out new things and i've been growing my hair for a while now i've been natural for um maybe 13 years or even more so i really know what my hair likes by this i know what when to put what in my hair and what works best for me is just using natural stuff my aloe vera castor oil, teas, papaya leaf, leaf of life, neem, those are some of the things that I use. Now what I will be introducing to you, which is my, as I said, my moisturizing routine, is the glow method and that just means a gel, so it could be aloe vera gel or tuna gel, whichever one, I use any of those two and I use a liquid, not water because I am aware that my hair needs to be nourished, right? In your kind of hot. It's really hot. Yeah, so I'm aware that my hair needs to be nourished. And so just using plain straight water is not going to do much for me. Especially, as I said, with what I am dealing with. So basically what I do, I either blend the leaves of plants. I use a variety of leaves, neem leaves, leaf of life, noni. So you can check out my channel for those um, videos I show you how I apply those to my scalp and so on. And usually I follow up with moisturizing my hair after I use those products if I'm not using them as just um, treatment. Now, this is the aloe vera. This is pure aloe vera. I added no water to it. This is castor oil. And then this is the tea, and this tea has neem, leaf of life, rosemary, and a couple other things. Alright, so what I do is to just put this in my spray bottle. So I saturate my hair with this scalp, root, everything. Strands, I saturate with this tea. The ingredients in this, the neem, the leaf of life, they also help to nourish your scalp so you can grow hair really quickly. Um, I know some persons are like, no, you can't grow hair fast or whatever. But yes, you can. Alright. And so I have to go through each twist one by one to ensure that I get the moisturizer on all my strands.
I did the rest off camera because the process was really messy and we had a clean up thing we never have a time for that so I did the rest off camera now this is what my strands look like they are feeling super moisturized the castor oil it just seals the moisture and you know castor oil is thick especially the cold processed castor oil so this is what I have remaining so what I do with the remainder I add some water to this and between now and the next two days until I'm ready to re-moisturize my hair add water to it and I use it as a spritz so to prove that your hair is well moisturized you should be able to pull your strand and it does not pop so you see how moisturized my hair is with this method see there so this is how you test if your hair is properly moisturized your strands are not supposed to break easily it should take a bit of pressure to break your strands what I really love about the glow process is that I can apply the gel from my scalp to my and on my strands now when I use creams I can't put those on my scalp because they block my follicles and then I start losing hair again so I have to use something that is natural and it's still going to give me the maximum benefit or allow me to have my hair moisturized for days also i'm able to moisturize the roots and my edges and this is just something that i can do when i use creams now i still use creams every now and then um i basically use this if i'm going to do a twist out which is rarely or if i'm going to like wash my hair in a in a day or two that's the only time i use creams or butters but this method the glow method it works for me now we've come to the end of the video if you stayed until this point in the video big up yourself and if you have not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel I share things that I do to live naturally on a budget and please also if you found this informative and you'll be trying the glow method give this video a thumbs up thank you and thank you for watching see you in the next video